When I heard that people thought that there was a quicker way to get Fusion, that was very exciting. I'm Robert Slade and I'm the Technology Development Manager for HTS at uh, Tokamak Energy. The core premise of Tokamak Energy is that the compact spherical Tokamak is a good route forward for getting to Fusion power quickly. The thing about having a compact spherical Tokamak the good thing is that you can make a small machine and cycle th quickly through prototypes. The challenge that is that the magnetic field has to be much stronger near the superconductors. So on the surface of the central column, the field in the plasma on a ST60 size machine would be about 5 tesla, and the field on the central column would be about 16 tesla. That's just about within the range um, of uh, the conventional uh, superconductors that are used in ITER, for example, but only just. Everybody's interested in these high temperature superconductors um, really as a way to go into higher field. In the next generation of demonstrator magnet, the ST60, that is a superconducting magnet and because it's a small spherical tokamak, um, it has to use the newer uh, high temperature superconductors. So we have to develop the technology to enable us to build that. There are lots of things you have to think about. Quench protection is a a big issue for a high temperature superconducting magnet. Quench is just a generic term for if the superconductor stops being a superconductor, it becomes a resistor and instead of current passing with, without dissipating any energy or producing any heat, suddenly energy is dissipated and the superconductor starts to warm up so you get a, a thermal runaway situation. The advantage in a low temperature superconducting magnet is that the whole magnet becomes a resistor and all the energy that is stored in the magnetic field um, gets turned into heat, which heats up the whole magnet. So the magnet safely self-protects itself. In a high temperature superconducting magnet, unfortunately, because it, it operates at a higher temperature, it means that one part of the magnet can quench and go normal, but the rest of the magnet persists in being a superconductor for a lot longer. So the hot spot spreads very, very slowly. The, and that means that the hotspot carries all the magnet's current as the field very slowly collapses and it's all concentrated in one spot rather than being spread over the whole magnet. This means that a quench in a high temperature superconducting magnet, it's a lot rarer occurrence, but if it happens it can be a very much more destructive occurrence. So yep, we will need a fully developed and proven quench protection technology before we can design and build that device. It's great to be on the cutting edge of uh, fusion technology and working in high temperature superconductors which are, I think are the future for fusion.